Fabian, the life of a driver, I mean, you travel all the time, but leaving your fiance, Becky, you've got your beautiful twins, Mackenzie and Carter, does it ever get easier? I don't think so. And I think, uh, you know, the older they get, you know, the more they understand what dad does for a living and, you know, the, the, good, the good buyers definitely get a lot harder. So um, it's not going to be easy, but, you know, we're very lucky that we live in a world where technology is at the forefront. I'm looking forward to, you know, racing and, you know, talking to the kids via FaceTime. Yeah, how has it been for Team Sydney working away from their home base in that way? Yeah, it's been tricky. You know, obviously all our tools and everything is, uh, you know, back at uh, City Motorsport Park. But, you know, we've been lucky we've been able to draw upon our, our partners, uh, Premier High, the cars have had a base there. Um, in recent times and they've been able to be worked on there. Um, we've got our sister company here at Techno where um, you know, we're very fortunate to have um, some other hubs you know, away from New South Wales, but um, definitely looking forward to getting back home. Well, Nick, you've certainly kept yourself busy since we saw you racing in Townsville. You've actually picked up and moved from Melbourne to the Gold Coast with your beautiful girlfriend and your dog, Nelson. What's going to happen when you're about to leave for quite a few weeks? Um, thankfully, uh, we've had a little change of plan. They're going to come on the road with me the whole time, which is pretty cool. Um, Nelson did it last year, so he's already been to Sydney Motorsport Park and done a track walk there and all that. Let's Go Motorhomes have supplied a motorhome for the lead into Bathurst, so we might go explore a bit of um, New South Wales and land ourselves in Bathurst and do the great race and come home. He's such a support for you, isn't he? Oh yeah, he's, um, <laughs> as you can see, flat out. And this is pretty much all the action we'll get. <laughs> um, <laughs> Are you looking forward to the four rounds in Sydney? For us to be in it every five days is like heaven. So um, yeah, I can't wait. It's, um, it worked well for us last year. We got a couple wins. Romy, you've been with Red Bull and Pole Racing for six years now. You've just had a beautiful baby, Koa. How does it feel coming back to work again? Not only that, but you're about to hit the road. I came back to work um, when he was three and a half months old, so I've been back in the office for quite a bit, but I'm not on the track until, yeah, soon going to Bathurst. Um, it will be exciting, first time being back on the racetrack for a couple of days, so quite a few days <laughs> um, since I had a little one, yeah. And Bathurst, I mean, you're going to be looking after the data engineering for Brock Feeney and for Russell Ingle, which is very exciting. They're joining together. Do you think that you'll ever bring Koa to the racetrack for oh, supercars? For, yeah, for sure. I mean, he was actually in a workshop here last week and we sat him in a car and he looked with his oh. big eyes like all around and all these cars and all these colours, all the people he loved there. there. For sure, bring him to the track as soon as I can. Jamie, Bathurst will be the last round, obviously, of your full-time career. Yeah, yeah. Are you still focusing on coming home with a championship? For sure, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. The, 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 um, the, the be-all, end-all is making sure that the championship trophy is in this building, first and foremost. Um, there's 98% there, of the crew here don't care if it's car 97 or car 88. There's a couple of people, and myself, I would like it on the 88 side, Shane would like it on the 97, there's a couple of mechanics and engineers, but really we've got to make sure we continue to work together. Um, it is Shane's to lose at the moment. He's got, a, he's got a big lead. There's still a lot of water to run under the bridge, but it's certainly his to lose, but we'll make sure we, we keep them honest and um, if an opportunity arises we'll, we'll have a crack. Well you've got your life pretty regimented and so I look forward to talking to you in about a year's time yeah. when you've got a baby that's going to yeah. really throw everything up in the air for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm in for a rude surprise. You know? I go to friends house and there's crap everywhere and I'm like uh -huh. what's going on these people have lost it but I'm like I, I, I'm pretty sure that's going to be me in a couple of years.